Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This week, I am participating in the ASN Kidney Trex program, which is hosted by the American Society of Nephrology. And so I'm here at the Mount Desert Island Biological Laboratory here in Bar Harbor, Maine. So yeah, it's gonna be an exciting week filled with learning about renal physiology, exploring Acadia National Park. We're staying in these rustic little cottages right here by the cove. So it's gonna be a fun week. Here we are. Good morning, everyone. Welcome, today is the first full day of the Trex program. Uh, so yesterday, after we got checked into the cottage, we sort of had some downtime, explore around the island, the lab. Then we had a little introduction to the program, met the directors, some of the other faculty running the workshops. And yeah, just got really pumped for this week. And so now, this morning, Jeremiah and Max and I were heading over it's uh, like 5.30 in the morning, but pretty light out. And um, we're gonna go into Acadia Park, do some hiking. All right, let's roll. And it's just really... That's a very big... A little bit rainy this morning, but refreshing start to the day, I'd say. All right, we made it back from hiking, stopped by the cottage, got our supplies, had to pick up my own fresh urine sample that I collected this morning for our experiments today in the water homeostasis module. So it should be a exciting day full of exciting experiments. All right, recap of official day one of Trex. So we had several different experiments going on. One of them was a human subject study where we were providing our own pee samples, like I showed earlier. So we also continued to pee and provide samples throughout the morning. And then at lunchtime, we had an experimental group who drank a water load of 5% of our total body water. So for me, that was like 2.4 liters. It was a lot of water. And then afterwards, for the next several hours, we continued to take regular measurements and samples. And by the end, there were a ton there. I peed over like two liters, I think so. Uh, and then we took measurements to see how the osmolality changed. We also did some experiments with toad bladders and using those as a model for aquapore in response to ADH. We did some biophysical experiments using red blood cells as a model for aquaporin functioning. And what I was involved with was using pig kidney cells uh, to actually visualize the trafficking of aquaporins from the uh, sequestered vesicles to the apical membrane of the collecting duct. Uh, so we added vasopressin uh, to the cells and, and then used immunofluorescence uh, to take images with confocal microscopy where, where we could actually visualize how the aquaporins moved from the vesicles to the apical membrane. And that was super cool. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to official day two of Trex. This morning, we're hiking up Flying Mountain in Acadia National Park. Then later this morning, we're going to present about our water module experiments from yesterday. And then this afternoon, more hiking uh, in the park. So, gonna be a great day. Let's go. Fernal Cove, which is here. We're gonna go Flying Mountain. Came across this little beach here. How is it? How's the hike today? Are you on? Yeah. Nice. All right, it's been a great morning. We presented our presentation about water homeostasis. Also had some wonderful other presentations, learning about stuff like the glomerulus, the proximal tubule, uh, kidney stones by studying fruit flies. Yeah, it's a great day. Had lunch and now we're gonna go and hike at Acadia Mountain. Brendan, you ready for this hike? <laughs> oh yeah. All right, let's go. You guys ready for this hike? Yes, oh, yes. we prepared by being in lab all day. Yeah. And now we're ready. All right, let's go. <laughs>
summit. I was a Brendan. Woo! Yeah! I was a Brendan. Unexpected, steep. <laughs> wicked treacherous. Pretty, yeah, awesome. pretty. Back sweat. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Acadia Mountain. <laughs> How was the hike? Oh my gosh, yeah. Yeah. It's fantastic. I don't know if I, so, sun's behind the clouds right now. <laughs> hey, water is a little cold at first. It feels pretty good now. IBL, enjoying the sunset. Beautiful this evening. Lovely here on campus. The water lapping against the shore. All right, that's day two. See you tomorrow. All right, good morning, everyone. It's official day three of treks. Today, this morning, we're hiking Beehive. Are you ready for this hike, Nina? Yes. <laughs> All right, let's get it. How's it been so far, Danny? It's been good. Up high real fast. Yeah. <laughs> we made it up here, top of Beehive Mountain. Yeah, lots of climbing action, lots of iron ladders, but a beautiful morning. How was the hike, Bryce? It was pretty awesome. What'd you think of it? Lots of climbing. Lot, yeah. Pretty fun though. Yeah. Nobody fell off. That was good. Yeah. No casualties. <laughs> Our morning adventures today were terrific. So now I'm back on campus, stopped back at the cottage, changed, got my laptop. Now heading towards the laboratory for today's experiments. I'm doing the kidney stone module today. So we're going to be working with fruit flies uh, and learning a lot about kidney stones. All right, let's go. dissected out the kidney tubules from the fruit flies and uh, now we're going to plate them onto the slides so then we can like visualize the calcium oxalate stones later. Alright, let's start by placing down the ureter. our afternoon teaching, learning about our experiments, learning about kidney stones. How are we feeling everyone? Woo! Woo! Drink water! Yes. <laughs> Use frog oocytes and study the function of aquaporins in those. So we essentially uh, express different aquaporins and then place them in different solutions uh, to see how long it would take for the cells to burst. You can see like you place the cells in solution, you know, they look like dipping dots, like, sort of. That's what I think so. Or kind of like a chestnut. This, here? <laughs> this is human aquaporin yeah. one. This is a water. Oh. All right, quick break from our presentation to come enjoy the sunset. There's Arvin, the photographer. <laughs> All right, 
See you later. Good morning, everyone. This is day four of treks. Uh, so they actually did have a hike this morning, but I was working pretty late on our presentation. And so today, last night, I wanted to just get a full recharge of my battery so I could like go uh, full bore today. So I feel refreshed this morning. I think it was a good decision. Uh, how are you feeling, Joe? I was definitely refreshed. Had some wonderful presentation this morning. Learned a lot and uh, then had lunch. And now we are about to go on this long bike ride through the park though. It should be pretty nice. You ready, John? Of course, of course we are ready. All right, game time. <laughs> on this longer, greater incline route around Eagle Lake on our bike ride. It's been a good one so far. Beautiful views. Honey Warren store. Alright, we've been going on this long uphill trek. Pretty arduous. How do you guys feel? Yeah, lots of optimism here. Yeah, we like that. All right, we will carry on. All right, we made it here to Jordan Pond. Hey there, we made it back from our bike ride. Total, we did about 21 miles today, I think so. Now we're down in downtown Bar Harbor. I just wanna talk about the bike ride. It was amazing, I enjoyed it so much. Just like the fresh, crisp air you're breathing in, the sunlight streaming through the trees as you ride through the path, the you know bright green of the leaves there, and the lakes of water. Oh, that light teeming as you just ride right by it. Oh, it was an amazing trek and, you know, definitely recommend doing that here in Bar Harbor and Acadia. Okay, one more thing. Just had to show you this view point right off of Bar Harbor. The harbor there, all the boats. This is Maine. All right, good morning. It is day five of treks. We're at the dining hall, having breakfast. Yeah, with some of the fellow trekkies. Uh, yeah, today I'm doing. Oh, hey there, Ashley. <laughs> uh, today I'm doing the distal convoluted tubule module. I'm gonna be working uh, with patch cl clamping and studying the ENAC channels. So, should be a good day. All right, today we're working in the kidney shed for our distal tubule module. It has a spectacular view here. Kidney shed, what an appropriate name. We finished our experiments for the day. How was the distal tubule today? It was a blast. 
yeah, now we're putting together our presentation, summarizing our results. Uh, but yeah, basically, like I said, we were working on the ENAC channel uh, with two electrode voltage clamping. We had some great afternoon teaching, learning about nephrotic syndrome and underfill versus overfill theory. All right, official day six of Trex. This morning we're heading down to the lab building to finish going over our presentation, prepping the final details there. Then we'll present and then have a very fun day planned today. We're gonna do kayaking, have a lobster bake later. So, you know, let's uh, round out this week with the bang. So today we're focusing on extracellular proteolytic activation of ENAC channels. Cardiovascular development. Hello there, I'm here with Dr. Zydell, director of our <laughs> TREX program. A great course, beautifully done. Lots of enthusiasm here. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of enthusiasm for, from all of the, the trainees. And of course, we really had a great time as a faculty running it. And now they're all going to go off and kayak. So um, have a great afternoon. Yeah, thank and you. You're properly tripped out. Yep. You, have my great. swimsuit. We're going to put on our sunscreen. Yep. All right. Screen is key. Yep. All right. All right. You See go. you later. Yep. <laughs> you guys ready for kayaking? We are currently kayaking through an oyster farm. This is pretty crazy. I've never seen one of these before. I think they live in the cages underneath the water. Okay, gotta do some steering here. We just saw a Bar Harbor seal right behind us. It's popping its head out. No, just swimming, kayaking, right along with them. You're just a part of the family. How was the kayaking, everyone? It was awesome. awesome. We saw seals, yeah. hawks, seagulls, birds, e yeah. races. Eagle's nest. Max provided all the power for our kayak. Good work. <laughs> <laughs> this evening we have a lobster bake going on. Quite the array here. Classic main experience. Good morning, everyone. Coming to you for the last time from MDIBL and the Trex program. It's an incredible morning. I don't know if you can hear, but the birds and the animals are out this morning. Just their chirping and the smooth flow of the water. So peaceful. But I just want to take a moment now this morning to just like reflect about this week and like, you know, my takeaways. So without a doubt, this has been one of my favorite weeks of medical school. Um, so much going on. Got to do some 
super cool experiments and learning about renal physiology. Um, I think one of the things that stood out to me was learning about model organisms and how to choose the model organism for the experiment based on its characteristics. We got to work with so many different ones this week. For example, we worked with toad bladders, pig kidney cells, red blood cells, frog oocytes, uh, Drosophila, the fruit fly. Some group worked on zebra fish. And the thing with all these is there's unique characteristics, the transporters and mechanism that allow us to model parts of human body. So this week has made me think about that in a way that I had never really done before. We got to do some breathtaking hikes, you know, and outdoor activities, the hiking, kayaking, biking. Last night we did some stargazing because the sky was super clear and the stars spread out like flower across the black canvas. It was incredible. Uh, you know, and really just like experience the beauty of Maine I'm getting to be here this week. Yeah. Yeah, but really... What I would say was my favorite part of this week was all the amazing people that I got to meet. You know, just all the faculty, preceptors, uh, all the staff, all of my fellow students. Such amazing people. And it was such a blessing to spend this week with them. So I'm super grateful to ASN for their funding and support for this program. Like, without them, like, this program wouldn't be possible. And so this opportunity is so invaluable. One of the main goals of the TREX program is to stimulate interest in the field of nephrology in medical students. I feel like this week absolutely achieved that goal, you know, at least for me. You know, not only by exposing me to the science and the experiments, but just allowing to immerse myself in the culture of this field and like spend so much time with all these nephrologists and researchers and get a picture of what life is like. You know, it's been such an incredible week with these people and like definitely has like spurred my interest in nephrology. All right, this is Nathan Kudlapur signing off from ASN Trex 2022. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you around.